Yeah, um, all my life I've been doing painting since I, before preschool. I enjoy and I have my little friend as my supermodel when I was little, like three years old. So I love painting all the time because my family love painting, art crafting. And we are lucky to live in south of Taiwan, which is full of a lot of um, landscape and in national park. So that's my life, my soul, everything. So I've been to private school for up to right uh, junior high. So all private school for art only. So I love painting, you can tell. <laughs> But I decided to focus on the Chinese painting around like maybe 15 years ago before I do mixed media, oil painting, teaching craft, everything. But I decided to focus on Chinese painting only. So, And you've shown in galleries all, oh, yes. all over. I, know, I feel like before COVID, you're always flying to Asia um, with your paintings oh. to install into a show or new gallery. Paris. Salon the Autumn and Japan have group show with women artists and always Taiwan and China have like international show for prof professional artists. That's how I learned my, my level from other good artists. I, I'm really lucky to have group of very strong artists, which you know, we are the family in the art. So because I have nice students. <laughs> <laughs> family, it's a big, huge family in the world, so. Yeah, yeah. and it, it's funny, I, I, um, I love your classes because I love the family that you've created. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just art, but it's, it's food and it's music and it's such a nice, um, you know, it's such a nice group that you have and I'm so happy that, you know, you, you'll teach online and hopefully everyone can enjoy your classes from home. Uh, so my favorite part of your classes are your demos. Pardon me? I love your demos in your oh, classes because every class you start with a demo, correct? Yes. Yeah. 45 minutes around. Yeah. Yep. And then, you know, I, I, you start with the demo and then your students go off and they, they you know, they create, you know, what you, what you showed. So do, what, what do you plan on showing us today? Today is a freehand style we call Xie Yi. Xie Yi means you uh, um, you keep all the objects, figure outline in your brain, and it's went through. It's go through your brush. Mm -hmm. So you, it's not necessary you have the real uh, reference in front of you, because sometimes it's really limit your imagination. So freehand, huh. it doesn't mean sloppy. It should be based on the um, basic technique and know how, and then. You, of course, in Chinese belief, you learn from the master because you learn from the best. Even though you learn just 10%, you are still good. So usually I have hangout from, uh, for the class. Oh, a handout. Can you, can yeah. you show it to the camera? Can you, um, can you show? Can you uh, yeah. flip it? Yeah, oh, yeah just show the, 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 the screen. So I will do my best to have my own copyright for students. Oh, okay. I will. I'm actually. I'm gonna switch to your. I'm gonna switch the camera to your. Um, to your workstation. Okay. Okay. There this we is go. Hang out for the class. I think I it mean, uh, is it. Oh no, it's not upside down. Okay. Oops. No, it's not. It's good. It's good. So um, I know it looks very difficult, but you are going to have my hangout, which is step by step. So no worry. You got the 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 perfect hangout for you to study at home from time to time is really helpful for your practice. So it looks difficult, but you know, practice, 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 everything relate to practice. So no worry about that. I know everybody is busy. That's why I have a little bit shortcut for you, hang out. So and that's then, my tip. And today you'll be teaching how to paint a begonia? Right. And what's the significance of a begonia in Chinese art? Uh, begonia in Chinese, we say chiu hai tan, especially like chiu autumn flowers. So, chiu hai. Chinese, 
<laughs> Chinese love begonia because they are very easy compared to peony. I mean, oh boy, peony is so difficult. So this one have variety of leaves, beautiful leaves, beautiful flower, easier to take care. And I will say easier to paint compared to peony. So the bird is up to you. I would love to have a free hand today because the time, you know, 30 minutes is not too long. So mm -hmm. I will do free hand. Okay. Again, don't worry about that step by step. If you take my class, I will have hang up for you. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go back to your, okay. Okay, so should I start now? Are you ready? We're ready, yeah. Oh, good, good. So I have my color ready. Always miss the world before you. So what kind of what kind of paper are you using, May? Raw rice paper. Rice paper. This is a uh, mid mid level, like medium price rice paper. Of course, you you heard that before. Cheap is expensive. Get the middle price material. I mean, of course, you can get something in the local. One. It's not that bad, but sometimes it's so hard to figure out this from Daiso. Sometimes it's really hard to figure out the water amount. That will make you hesitate. So, And where can we buy that? Huh? Where can you buy the rice paper? Rice paper, uh, uh, talk to me later because I don't want to become the commercial, but online. Oh, online, okay. Google, they have very good price. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Maybe I can say that Blue Heron uh, from Los Angeles. Very reliable quality, good price. Perfect. Okay, and then what kind of brush are you using? I'm using... This is all purpose. And this is a wolf hair. So I'm going to use the uh, all purpose now which you carry good amount of the color and water. And I might start it now because you like to see the process. Yes. Okay. Side stroke. This uh, combination hair brush. Side stroke. And is this paint or ink? Paint and ink. You know, okay. in the old time, we don't have red color, so we use ink as a red color. But this one is very difficult for beginner because the water amount, again, it just feel like you're painting on the tissue paper or paper towel. Yeah. So it might make you feel oh, this is so difficult to deal with. So you can get some red color when you do the, the burr, some kind of object get something like this, okay? But get used to the ink is so important for this kind of uh, technique. You can switch to small brush if you like, but usually I will use the same. Another brush, miss here for my burrs tummy. That will be a little bit different color. Okay. And then switch back to Cause the tip of the fin always a little bit harder, better. So you can add a little bit stronger color for that. And then this is horse hair, stiff hair, stiffer hair. It's very strong, it's create some kind of sprout you like for branch. I have my light ink and burn sienna color. Maybe I'll move a little bit more. 
to so these two birds can talk each other now because they have some nice area to stay usually i will let it dry out a little bit but now i'm going to put the feet this is way too dry uh, to wait now sometimes i will add a little bit makeup for them which is the pattern of the face Stronger yellow and white. Of course, you know I, I. You can notice I use the old brush from the watercolor. Oldie but goodie. Let it dry out a little bit, and then I'm going to use my. Um, this is called bamboo and orchid brush. Again, that is a little bit stiff here. I have my green and crimson and the tip. Side scrub, bit wall. One more. This is left side of the lips. Not the the challenge to do the free hand because usually you don't hold your hand like this way but when you do the Chinese painting you use the whole brush it's just like doing the Tai Chi with your brush which is really relaxing and different experience now begonia Chinese believe they have bamboo like straw. Almost the same technique. This is typical freehand. Technique for the stock or bamboo. Now I'm going to use my cream brush. This only for flowers. So I use carmine. Carmine is very bright red color. Or you can use crimson leg. See how different? This is carmine and this is crimson leg color. Begonia okay. is very easy to paint. There are four petals, two big one, many which you put up. You might have questions like, May, you talking about four, but how come there's only two at this moment? I will let you know later. <laughs> so light. It look, looks like snowman now. First you have like the whole, whole unit of one set. And then slowly. See, light and dark. And then you lost counting. So you have like this shine pale hiding behind these big brothers or sisters. I mean, in the nature, you don't see the, the whole thing line up for you. And then you have Teeny tiny is coming out, getting ready to open and lighter. Just water with for the brush. It's create second deck of 
this grow of the flowers. It might look too light, but that's what what we want for the flowers. Okay, and then let it dry out a little bit with another fine tip brush. Sometimes, most of the time, the stalk have the same color with flower and stalk, so I mix two together. That you can see this are the whole family with big open already and one is coming out. Okay, and then final touch was the center. Which is yellow white. Why I put the white in the yellow? Because sometimes the yellow is too transparent. We like to have a little bit of paint. Color for this dark flowers. If you do this at home, let it dry out a little bit so you can see a little bit better center. Or you can go back and light touch after they dry out. That is okay too. Okay, now I have this ready, but I need more lips. Sometimes they have tiny lips somewhere in the same stock. But make sure you don't point it to the head. It looks a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> you don't want to bump it to another one. Okay, now. This is way too long. You need to commit with the uh, main stock. So I will create another lips. See, I use the whole brush. I have a little bit of stuff here, so I'm going to create another teeny tiny group of the flowers, but that won't be the main character. So again, just create another deck behind this branch. This is way too uniform. Put another top so you won't see the, the straight line. And again, a little bit light touch with the center. The reason I love shade is really we we look and you feel like really relaxing to do that with my hangout. So this one is a little bit drier, so I'm going to show you to do the buying. Again, begonia have very beautiful, I would say a lot of different Variety leaves. Again, you really need paperweight for that. You might move. Let it dry out a little bit. I would say at least 60%. So it won't disappear. 
of today's trial. Again, these are yellow white. You might have question what kind of yellow. Mm. I think they are the same, but I'm using the warm yellow, orange yellow. Some company have very fancy name of the of the color, so you have to figure out which one you like the most. Oh, this one is a little bit light, too light, so you can go back light touch with the tip. It's really stand out the pattern of the bird. And you can small that. So you will see the cut. This is pretty much like a makeup for the bird. So you, you like to have very smooth cheek color. And of course, no chop, no finish painting. So I have my, the fun to do the painting with my color. Only two characters, but it's tell a lot. If you take my class, you can share my correction of the chops. I have um, variety. You can like maybe deliver to my house. Or you can, you can purchase some. Buy your own toys, which is nice. When you do this kind of, this is not a name, not a studio. It's just the balance for this painting. So don't put in the middle. And you need certain uh, distance, so you can put in the frame later. Stay for a couple of minutes. Up, down, left, right. Don't rush. This is vermilion color ink. They have like two or three basic crimson lake in color. Okay. Of course, you need to write down something, which I can do that for you. If you have your masterpiece finished, I would love to do that. If you trust the post office, mail it to me or deliver to my house. <laughs> May, I mean, may, I'm I, getting bigger, so. may I think it's important to say that you you do not need to know Chinese to take this. Uh, I will try to find a very easy trace. Yeah. Ni hao. Choreography for you to do. I mean, even this one you can trace. See. I'm pretty sure you can do that. Only two words. <laughs> what was that question again? <laughs> uh, I, I think it's a... Uh, oh, we are with the, the, the choreography part. Which is allowed in Chinese traditional learning process. You do the painting, I do... I will write it down. Yes. My three students do this masterpiece and me, may share write down this for her. That is very important and that is allowed and you know we do that all the time. This is a typical poem for the autumn. I mean you have your moon cake in the backyard with your family, your good friend, with a little bit fan. You enjoy to watch the, uh, the teeny tiny fries. The fireflies. Fireflies. That's right. That's how it is. So if you have the studio chop, you can put it right here. You know, sometimes you really need to have plastic one because the stone one is too pricey. Mm -hmm. But you might do the research, 
I had one student, she got very good deal, but some are very pricey, like 200. And the good deal I heard so far is $15. I'm not doing the commercial here. <laughs> this is for my father. She, he used to have the store, uh, chop store, so. Your father had a chop store? Yes, before he passed away. Was that his, um, it's amazing. I know, family. Did he, car did he carve it? Was he the artisan carving the chops? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. <clears throat> I wish I learned more from him, but, yep. It's, I, you, know, you know, I lived in Hong Kong for six years, and there, even in like Central, the, the busy you know, business section, there's these little, these little um, stalls with the men making chops. Still. Still, but it's incredible because it's not just for art. Even, like, I, I worked at an art gallery there, and whenever somebody made a delivery or, you know, you had, instead of signing, you had to give them the company chop. Yeah. I mean, Every company it. has a chop saying, so the chop would be Pacific Art League, receive this. Um, it was such a beautiful like, tradition that was still, you know, brought to modern times. They still use that for the bank signature. So. Still, yeah. I know. It's, you know, I'm going to introduce, if we have time, yeah, we have time. This is a regular rice paper. Also, I just, I just want to mention to everyone that I'm recording this and I'll have it on YouTube tomorrow. So if, if, if you're unable to stay any longer, don't worry. Um, there'll be, you know, there'll be a recording of this. And just check out Pacific Art League's YouTube tomorrow. So this of the panel, you know, for the beginner, it's really difficult to paint. It's just like you are first one, a first time to experience the, the ski, you know. But this one is available in the local. Hmm. This is the part you can do the calligraphy, but I won't recommend you do this one if you are the beginner because this is very difficult. But again, this saves you the process for a wet mounting. Why doing the weight mounting? Because after you finish, the, the painting is a little bit buckle, you know, unlike the watercolor paper. So you will need to go to the process. But if you, if you love the painting, just go for it. Don't worry about it. We worry about that later. Okay. And again, get a good material. Not the super, super expensive one. But you know, at least middle. This is what I use. This is, you know, my master teacher, he used this student label color. And he's master, he owns a museum in, in, in China. So, go for it, Marie. I'm not doing commercial any, any, any point, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, chop is available. You can do a customer order with your name, some. Company does do good service. They will discuss, discuss, discuss with you like, oh, you like to have special name? Let me know, is this good for you? Uh, you like it, paperweight? Winston Newton HWC, ink pad, probably a little bit challenging to do, to or get older in local, but you, again, you can do online. Your studio, studio name. My mom and my daddy's name combined together become Lucky Crow with Chinese Rui Yun Tang. So I'm, I'm using my parents. So you can use yours or ask me. I will help you out. So chop again. This one you can use anything. Hey, I was thinking of. I was thinking of your solo show last year. And I remember when Donnie and I, we, we, we put the show up, we hung it. And I think it was maybe um, a six-year-old that came in that was doing after school class and was looking at the artwork and looked at one of the paintings and said, you hung it upside down because the chop was upside down. We couldn't tell because it was an abstract. And it was so funny, this, this little child telling us that the painting was upside down because the Chinese letters were upside down. I think their parents should be really proud. This. Very proud. Yeah. <laughs> we were all amazed. 
you don't you don't need this fancy look you can use any any extra bread from your um like lunch time tea time tea time bread this is from my kids when they were kids so you can use anything you don't need that face actually that is too small for me i think this is very useful don't throw away your kids art project <laughs> it's not allowed <laughs> no i'm just kidding anything you can hold the, the the purpose is don't let it touch your fabric oh i oh, have fabric to talk about this yes why are we using this one because the rice paper absorb the water it's become a little bit dense, so you need something to protect your painting and your ink or your masterpiece. So this actually will uh, help you to keep those color. Hey, can you maybe can you roll up the material so people can see what it looks like? Is it possible? Uh, you mean this one? The material, the fabric. The fabric. Okay, hold on, just a minute. Yeah, show people what it looks like. Oops, sorry. This is fab. You can get this in Joanne any place. Oh, this one is from Michael actually. It's a crepe material for kids to cut it out and play around like a puppy. This actually fab. You can use a little bit thick towel, old towel, which is good too. I have some students use that. Oh, their mom's favorite collection. <laughs> You can use any kind of old fabric, which is good and okay too. This is the fabric. Yeah, so, so the rice goes on top of the fabric and then you paint right. on top of that. So it absorbs. You, you have to save the whole thing. Mm. So, yeah. And ink. Shape well before you use because they have ingredients. If you don't paint in two months, hello, <laughs> it's, it go, go down, so you have to shape well. Can ink go bad? Not necessary, but if you don't curl this tight enough, they dry it out, they dry out. But usually they, they last for a long time. And these are from local. I think the quality is good enough because before I had to carry from the overseas, Taiwan, China, boy, you you had to put the million plastic bag to protect yeah. it. So no, don't carry the ink from overseas, local or online order. Shit, well again, they both need. Okay, this are only two dollar. This maybe five dollar. Hmm. To me, don't use overnight if if you like to have nice smooth color for your object. Don't use the overnight ink. Because after overnight, they create some kind of certain amount. You know, you probably see the the chip on um, your birth's lovely face or your beautiful figure painting. You, you don't want to do that. So, but for the abstract, you like to have overnight. Mm -hmm. There will be another object sometimes. So, yeah. May I have a question? A question came up. Um, one of our viewers uh, said that when she was in Singapore last year, she saw a street artist who did a similar style painting, but on silk. Do, do you think it was silk or was it, was it maybe a different kind of paper? Silk is good for your painting, but it's very difficult for your weight master because, you know, after you put the, the fabric into the water, they become like unpredictable. It's so difficult for them, especially if you like to send the painting to the local. I, I have information, good deal. It's very difficult for them to do the straight choreography. Uh -huh. You can tell from the choreography, it's terrible. It looks like your choreography is dancing. It's very difficult to do the wet mounting. But I, myself, I love silk, but I never recommend to students. It's so difficult to do the way yeah. That's the only you probably problem. need like a, a master framer or ma oh, yes. to do that. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's the only problem. Otherwise, go for it. Now, May, what will you do? The, the painting that you just demoed, what will uh -huh. you do with it? 
Because I know you're always giving the staff at Pacific Art League little presents. Will you mount it on paper and give it to someone for Mid-Autumn Festival? Yeah. To do just one painting, I have million in my backyard or my storage. <laughs> I only give the, the one I love and it won't embarrass me. You know, you still have to show up with the, the best one. So, again, I love my good friend. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's my thank you note. Yeah. <laughs> well, is, that, I, is that your question? Yes, and I'm, I, I feel very uh, lucky to have received many of them, which I've kept in, they're up in my house. <laughs> yeah, uh, and, and I'm really lucky I have the a lover purchased my painting from China, Taiwan. Yeah. Actually, you will have, um, I think, I think uh, I think you will have a painting displayed in our 99th anniversary exhibition. So that exhibition, it opens uh, in October, oh gosh, I don't even know what, October 2nd, opens October 2nd, we're having a virtual opening. Okay. And since our gallery is closed, the way we're doing the show is um, we're positioning walls to face the street so people can enjoy art from the street. And it, um, it, the art will rotate on a probably like a bi-weekly basis. Mm -hmm. So please hope, come see May's painting. What exciting. Yes, very exciting. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Um, I will have this recording on YouTube tomorrow. Uh, also, May's class starts October 13th. It's 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. And uh, we're very excited to have you back, May. Thank you. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah, oh, always. Thank you, everyone, for joining. This is such a great group today. It was great to see some familiar faces. Uh, and I definitely miss all of May's students and not seeing you in the gallery. So this has been a nice reunion. OK? Thank all right. you. Thank all right, you. bye, everyone. Thank you, everybody. You. Keep safe. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, May, I'm just going to answer one question. Um, okay. The show is going, someone asked, where will the show be? The show will be at Pacific Art League at 668 Ramona Street, Palo Alto. And you will also have an online gallery. So if you can't make it to Palo Alto, you can see the work online. Again, that will uh, be on in uh, uh, October 2nd. So thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, yeah. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.